Hello, this is Joe Angelo, Service Tech here at Lyman Products. Today I'm at the range to show you the Lyman Auto Advance Remote Control Target System. When you unbox your target stand, you will find the following items in the box. One remote control, four ground stakes, target roll wrench, instruction manual, two support feet, one cross support, four lengths of conduit, frame bottom with the motor, frame top with the target roll. Lay out your two support feet and install the cross member. Hand tighten wing nuts. Place two lengths of conduit into each of the round receptacles located on the support feet. Hand tighten the wing nuts. Remove the bottom frame assembly. This has the motor attached. Slide down over the conduit, making sure the frame is seated all the way down. Next, take the other two pieces of conduit and place them in the bottom frame assembly. Again, making sure they are fully seated and tighten the wing nuts. Place the top frame assembly. This has the target roll attached. Place frame onto the conduit and firmly seat. Tighten all the wing nuts firmly. At this point, you can install the ground stakes to add stability and to keep the target stand from falling over. If the stand is being used on a hard level surface, sandbags or any other heavy object can be used to secure the stand. You will need eight AA batteries for the motor and a nine volt for the remote control. Remove the battery cover from the motor housing and install the batteries per the diagram located in the housing. Remove the battery cover from the remote control and install the 9 volt battery. Power up the remote via the small switch on the side of the remote control and turn the rocker switch that is located on the motor housing to on. Pull out the antenna. This will allow you to test the target stand. Press the remote button and look for the bottom spindle to spin. Press the stop button on the remote to stop the motor spindle. If this test does not work, double check the battery orientation and make sure the batteries are firmly seated in the housings. The next step is getting the target roll installed. Find the target roll end. This should be taped. Pull the end of the target roll straight down until you have enough to reach the bottom motor spindle. If there is a lot of resistance while you pull the target roll, there is a tension knob located on the top target frame on the left hand side. Loosen that a turn or two and pull on the roll again. On the bottom frame assembly, on the right hand side, just behind the spindle, you will notice a black plastic key. Pull that out and rotate 90 degrees. This will disengage the motor and allow you to align the slit in the bottom spindle with the target roll end. Slide the target roll through the slit, leaving about one inch protruding. Rotate the black key 90 degrees to lock spindle. The target should be fairly taut so it does not move excessively in the wind. To adjust the tension, go back to the knob I described earlier in the video. You want to loosen the outer black knob and then turn the knurled silver knob clockwise to add tension or counterclockwise to decrease tension. Apply enough to keep target taut. Too much tension will needlessly overwork the motor. At this point, you can set the target stand up where you want to shoot. To replace the target roll, follow these steps. On the top frame, on the right side, you will see a small plastic tab. Pull the tab forward and swing it open fully. This will allow you to remove the target roll. Only one side of the target roll will lift. You will have to remove the black end cap. The other black end cap will remain on the frame. You can now install your new target roll by placing the new roll on the end cap that is on the right side Remember that there are two slots cut into the target roll that need to be aligned with the end cap so the target roll fully seats. Now slide the target roll into the slot and fully swing the black clip closed. The target stand also comes with a wrench that can be used to rewind the target roll back up. In order to rewind the target back up, you will need to disengage the black key on the motor housing, attach the wrench to the nut on the right side near the black clip that removes the target roll.
For information on this product and many others, please visit LimonProducts.com.